Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about the Sony A5000 and see if it's still good in 2020. And you know what, I still think it's a really good camera if you wanna start getting into vlogging or you just want a travel camera. This one's really nice. The Sony A5000 does come with a 20 megapixel APS-C sensor, so it's gonna take really good quality images. Another thing I like about the Sony A5000 is that it's really light. As you can see here, it's a lot lighter than my Nikon Z6. So that's one of the good things about the Sony A5000 is that it's still really light. And another thing I like about the Sony A5000 is that the rear LCD screen flips like this. That way when you're vlogging or you're trying to compose your shot, you can easily just look at the LCD screen and see what you're filming. The Sony A5000 does do video recording. The video autofocus performance is actually not too bad, especially for a six-year-old camera. It's not too slow, it's not too fast, and if you have enough light on your on you or your subject, it'll autofocus pretty quickly. One of the good things I like about the Sony A5000 is the menu. Going from my Nikon Z6 to the Sony is really easy to get used to. Another cool thing about the Sony A5000 is that if you do have a Sony E-Lens, you can mount it on the Sony A5000. So that's really cool that you can interchange Sony E-mount lenses on this too. So for me, it's not really that bad, but the Sony a5000 does not do 4k recording i don't mind but uh, just letting you know that it does not do 4k recording and another thing about the sony a5000 is that it is not weather sealed so if you are bringing this to a, a rain day or somewhere where it's raining just be wary that if you do get rain on this it might not perform or it might even break so just remember that it is not weather sealed so is the sony a5000 still good in 2020 I would say it is still a really good camera, especially if you're on a tight budget and you want to use a, a better camera and not your phone. The Sony A5000 is really good, especially once you tilt the screen. You can just hold it like this, it's really nice. And like I said, it's really lightweight as well. So that's one of the things I really like about the Sony A5000. If you're looking for a vlogging camera, I would highly suggest the A5000. It's just really compact, it's really light, and the video is actually still, still not too bad, especially if you're just getting to vlogging. I personally think it's a lot better than my phone. I would consider this low light, but just testing out the low light performance on this thing. Um, the lens is at f3.5, uh, 130th shutter speed. This is just all on superior auto mode too. So if you're vlogging at a low light area, uh, I would say this low light, I guess, but it's still not too bad. Um, the A5000 is actually pretty nice. I don't know what the ISO is at. It's telling me it's ISO auto. I'm assuming it's probably at like 5000 can't tell but it's good in it's producing good lights for the low light but yeah here's a 5000 video sample at night the light's not too bad but this is at 16 millimeters at f3.5 So the A5000 does hold up still. And you know, if you do have a Sony A5000, comment below and let me know what you think. I'll post some links below on where you can buy the A5000 and a few e-lenses that I recommend you getting to if you're gonna wanna vlog. All right, everyone, thanks for watching my Sony A5000 review. I really appreciate everyone watching. And like I said, I'll have links below if you're interested in purchasing one. And I really appreciate everyone watching. Yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. And I would really appreciate that. Thanks everyone, see ya.